Hello everybody, it is Stephanie again, um, and I'm talking about the cancer stuff today. Um, before I go into the, I just want to say, um, you guys know that the biopsy came back with no cancer, um, and I've just heard a lot of responses to that because I didn't believe that I that I don't have cancer, even though the biopsy said that, because I am having more symptoms every day. So I'm not going to name it names, but there are a couple of people that like said, if I found out the biopsy came back negative, I would have been jumping in happy, and I was like, so it was hard that people are telling me not to think worst case scenario, like for some reason, wait till the doctor tells me to have those feelings of having cancer. And I'm like, it it makes sense to myself to, if I think I might have cancer, to believe that and then to find out that it isn't. When I have the appointment, I can be relieved. So I just know that people love me, and but the advice that they've given is really... Um, of course, they're not the ones facing this cancer, so I'm just going to continue to assume that I have it until I hear otherwise. Also, so the new symptoms I've noticed um, the last couple of days is my I continue to kind of lose my voice like I have laryngitis, so sometimes only a whisper comes out and I'm trying to talk. Um, and also, I now have sores around my mouth, um, right here on my lip. Uh, and it, if you look really closely, it's white on top of it. And other sores around the side of my lips. And there's three or four on the underneath my lips. And um, it's uh, still ulcers in the corners of my mouth, so that's where the blood is coming from. So my lips have been bleeding off and on. Uh, so those, it's like I know that that's continuing to point to having cancer. Um, so let me just see if there. Oh yes, but I did actually get decent sleep the last two nights. I decided to continue to take the amitriptyline and the Requip that I take for restless legs in addition to the, the, um, the CBD oil that has THC in it. Um, and that con combination did help me uh, have good sleep. So the last couple nights I've actually been dreaming so I know I've been sleeping soundly so sometimes it still takes me a little while to get to that sleepy stage to be able to fall asleep but at least I haven't had felt like I need to take a ta nap right away when I get up oh yes and until I find out that I have cancer and start on treatments and that I decided because it was 55 degrees today and you guys know I had started running again but just power walking up the hills but I'm like you know what I'm just gonna try hiking so I did two and a half miles through Palmer Park trails and I was just like yes so I think that's going to be my new exercise that will take replace w running and walking because it's easier for me to fall then. So I'm just so blessed to still be healthy enough to be so active. All right, let me just... Oh, yes. Also, something else I saw on the Facebook cancer page on one of them, uh, this guy's writing a book. And basically, with mouth and neck uh, head and neck cancer, this is considered, usually is at stage four or five when you find out about it, because for whatever reason, it seems to take longer. So I'm also going to mentally prepare for it to be that far advanced. So again, if I find out otherwise, I'm going to be so relieved, but just trying to keep that in my mind of worst case scenario. All right. Okay. Yes, that's all of that. Let me start a wonderful devotion. Uh, and remember, we're talking about compassion. The space 
between having everything and having nothing isn't vast. The journey between the wilderness and Jerusalem may be shorter than we think. The line that separates the givers and the receivers is thin. The, the connections between all of us are greater, greater than anything that separates us. And then we see them, our brokenness begins to be transformed into compassion for others and even for ourselves. Compassion is one of the most important attributes of love. When we cultivate compassion for others, we can feel the loving kindness God offers to us. In other words, instead of dismissing others' brokenness, we engage suffering with hope. A daily commitment to compassion gives us the ability to feel the joys and sorrows of others and be gentle with ourselves. Cultivating compassion for ourselves and others doesn't require making drastic changes or giving up our lives as we know them. It means that what we remember is healing is possible for all people. It means asking the question, what happened to you instead of what is wrong with you? It means inviting someone's story and inviting someone's story and listening to it with gentle ears for any reason. And we don't let cynicism guide our actions and speech. It also means we don't give up on others, even if it feels like it is going to be a long, hard journey toward healing. And the song today is also Stephanie Gretzinger, uh, No Fear. Yes, No Fear in Love is going to be your guys' song. So I hope you guys have been encouraged. And yes, I'll talk when I have more to say.